Hello, I'm Steve with Touch the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk to you today about Latin Rain out of Joel 2. Um, I made a video yesterday. It was an awesome video, but there was some a little bit of biblical error in there. Uh, and I just kind of had to regroup hurts a little bit. Had to take it down. One lady commented on it. It was a good comment, but, you know, I had to kind of refocus and just kind of, I want to stay in the vein of, God has shown me because if you read, look at some of my other videos about who's your source, I want to be biblically based, Jesus based, God based, in prayer, in direction that He's given me. And if it's not, you know, I don't want to hear it and I don't want to get spouted out of my mouth. So, anyhow, I kind of like, I got to go to Jesus in some prayer and find out how I really miss God, and that's one. Um, so anyhow, I'm not going to stay focused on that. I want to ju jump right into this. Joel 2. And he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing shall be full of wheat, and the vat shall overflow with new wine and oil. And then I'm not jumping, I just want to go to the next part of it. And so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten. Then I want to jump into, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also on the maid servants and men servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days. The rain, the rebuilding, and then Jesus pouring out His Spirit. God pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. And we're going to have visions and see different things. Dreams, visions. Rain is cleansing, really. After spring rain, it smells good. The air seems kind of fresh. The ground seems kind of fresh. It brings life. April showers bring May flowers. You know, there's just some awesome things in the rain, life-giving things in the rain. The rebuilding is because God wants to have a, a, bit build, a building fitly framed together, the body of Christ fitly framed together, built on the rock. True foundation. A lot of error out there, you know. I made an error yesterday. So, God doesn't want that in our foundation, the errors in our foundation. He wants a solid rock. So he's rebuild he re he he's rebuilding. So what seemed like destruction from the enemy was really part of God's process. He's rebuilding. He's building upon solid rock, good foundation. Then he's gonna pour out his spirit. Sons and daughters will prophesy, dream dreams, visions. We all have gifts and callings. Each and every one of us. That's kind of the theme that I've been going along with, too, is that there's no big I's and little U's. We all have an importance in the kingdom of God. We're all building fitly framed together. Read Ephesians 4 and 12. It talks about, you know, the first apostles, prophets, and teachers. Those offices are service to the body of Christ. Not above. So many misconceptions and... People grabbing for power to be prophets and apostles. We're all, we're all gifted in, in the callings of Christ once we've been born again. We all have awesome things that God wants us to do for us, the body of Christ. We're all of the same importance to Jesus. Same equality. So, you know, it's time to get off the high horse and just do what God told you to do in the body of Christ. But anyhow, so that's what he's doing. He's pouring out his spirit. So look at my video about free Christian book because the Lord deals with me with visions. And it took me a long time to put together the visions, but even longer to search the Bible, almost a year, to put scriptures to them. So like I said, I want it to be biblically based. Who's your source? I want it to be something I made up. It's inspirational. It's not the. That's why I'm giving them away for free. So just you got nothing to lose. Just watch the video and see how to get one. It's awesome. It's an awesome time we're living in. It's a grace dispensation we're living in because Jesus wants to move on this earth. 
Read Proverbs 2 and 3 about wisdom, about understanding. Understanding with your heart and not leaning on your own understanding. Not letting your heart lean on your own understanding, but leaning on God's understanding. That's the direction he's trying to take his church. He wants to give us that divine wisdom, that wisdom from above, James 3.17. Because we're living in a grace dispensation and it's a move of God and Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone because God, that was God's ultimate plan. Jesus for the salvation of mankind. You know, I'm not going to be political and throw out too much political political stuff, but just it's a mess. News is a mess. Stuff's a mess. The world seems like it's in a mess. People talk about judgment. Well, economic collapse, one of the judgments, it's already here. It's already here. You know, this country's broke. It's a Ponzi scheme. You know, two-thirds, two-thirds. China isn't the biggest, isn't the biggest holder of our debt. The American people are. So, bonds, when they come mature, what are they paying with? People that just paid for the bonds. They don't have the money to back it up. Twenty trillion, what, twenty trillion dollars in debt? Best, gov Trump, shut the government down happened during Obama's administration. I can't pay our bills. So, you know, I got investments in Wall Street, too, in stocks, and I don't want them to tank. But, you know, it's hard to say, but it's kind of a joke, really, that we got the, the, that we got this deep into trouble. And if it wasn't for the grace of God, that's, I'm, not, I'm not focusing on the negative. I'm saying there's negative negativity out there, things that could happen and transpire and change before this message is even finished and turn this world upside down but for the hand of God but for Jesus because it's his hour and his dispensation and his time and his leading and he's building a body and we've all got to take part and rise to the occasion and do what God told us to do each and every individual one of us has an importance your individual walk with Jesus is of the utmost importance so, get closer to God. Who's your source? I live in Dallas. Dirty river called the Trinity River that runs through Dallas. I'm drinking bottled water. I'm not going to go to the Trinity River and pick up some nasty old water. I want, I want a pure source. I want something pure, clean. Go to, who's your source? Go to Jesus. What would you do, Jesus? Simple question. You can ask him that all the time. Kind of like Larry the Cable Guy does. Get her done. Just straight, simple. That's how I am. I just want a straight, simple answer. For some reason, my camera's going foggy, so it doesn't matter because I'll put a picture on you. But anyhow, that's the hour we're living in. Rain's coming. Latter rain, former rain. Coming. Cleansing. Rebuilding. Pouring out of God's Spirit upon all flesh because that's the hour that we're living in. Awesome time of victory. And I'm not just stuck on, you know, prosperity. That's not the issue. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's not my main focus. My main focus is what would Jesus do? What did Jesus want us to do? What hour are we living in for Jesus? Get your focus, laser focused on Him. Because there's a judgment piece out there. There's a prosperity piece out there. There's all this things that can distract us, even if they're biblical. Who's your source? And it is a time. It's an awesome time. Cleansing time. Rebuilding time. Pouring out of God's Spirit upon all flesh. All flesh. We all have a part to play. If you're listening to this, you have a part to play. What's your part? Prophecy, healing, Mirac all kinds of things that, that Jesus can do through through his people when they're in the place where they need to be when our covenant's right our motive's right we're seeking him with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our mind and not leaning on our own understanding but getting the, his understanding of it his wisdom of it what he wants to do with it get off of this I minister so and so, or I did this, or I did that. Great, awesome. 
We should rejoice when others are successful in Christ, when there's gifts of healing, when there's gifts of deliverance, when there's gifts of prophecy coming forward, when there's all these g g different awesome gifts. We shouldn't try to pull each other down. We should lift up the body. All the body. Like I said, I mean, I, you know, I don't understand Revelation as much as I probably should. I don't know what's going to come. I don't know what's going to come to pass. God hasn't given me any insight into that area. Some. But I don't want my focus to be on that right now. I want my focus to be on what He's doing. And it's in a time where we're reaching souls. And it's not just to capture wealth and pros pros prosperity and, and position and all that. And there's nothing wrong with prosperity. David was a man after God's own heart. He was a billionaire in today's standards. So it wasn't the money that was the issue. It's not the money that's the issue. It's your heart. There's nothing wrong with having money and being wealthy. There's nothing wrong with that. You can be broke and have a and have and have an attitude about money, and have a love of money. So, you know, posture yourself, posture your heart, lean out on your own understanding. Let it rain. Let the rain soak, saturate, cleanse, purify. And the rebuilding to begin. Then God's spirit be poured out, which is what we're in right now. God's spirit's being poured out. We first have to be those vessels that are prepared. I'm not talking about work, because it's not about works. So you can't work your way into heaven. You can't work your way into the graces of God. But you can get your vessel ready. You can do what you're supposed to do. You can do the things that, you, that you're supposed to do because you love God, because you love Jesus, because you want to be part of this move of God, part of this move of Jesus. You want to posture your heart right so anyhow that's my message the rain is coming the rebuilding's coming the pouring out of his spirits coming so like I said look up my book on free free Christian video free Christian book get a get a free copy of the book it's awesome comment on this YouTube video, post it with other people, share it with other people, likes, dislikes. I'll even take constructive criticism, which I did yesterday, and had to kind of just regroup. So, anyhow, we love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful, awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.